Welcome. In this video, we will learn about the pie chart. Chanda and Appu want to start a pickle making business together. Chanda, I think we should first find out which pickles people like. Yes, Appu. Let's find out by asking the villagers. I will write down the names of some pickles on a paper. Then we will write the number of people who like that pickle in this table. Chanda and Appu go to people's homes to find out which pickle people like. By the end of the day, they completed their table by asking a hundred people their choice. They returned to Chanda's house. Appu, I am tired of wandering around the village all day long. And now, I don't understand anything after seeing so many numbers. Is there any way that we can understand all this information at one glance? Yes, Chanda. We can illustrate this information using a pie chart. Hey, Appu, I'm already feeling very hungry. And now you're increasing my appetite by taking the name of this pie chart. What is this pie chart? <laughs> Through the pie chart, we can illustrate the information in a simple way by making a circle. Let me teach you how to make it. See, we have got information of a hundred people in total. To make a pie chart, we will first write the number of people who like pickle as a fraction of 100. Like 50 people like mango pickle. So we take the number of people who like mango pickle as 50 or half part of 100. In the same way, we will write different pickles liked by people as fractions of 100. But the total number of parts in all these fractions is different. Then how do we represent them? That's correct. To solve this, we will first find the lowest common multiple or the smallest common multiple of the total parts of all these fractions. In this way, 20 is the lowest common multiple of these numbers. Now, we will write all these fractions in such a way that the total parts of all of these fractions is 20. But Appu, you haven't made any pie till now. Don't worry. Now we are going to make the pie of the pie chart. Now, we will make such a circle. Then, we will divide this circle into 20 equal parts. And finally, we will color these parts of the pie chart as per the fractions and illustrate it using the circle. Our pie chart is ready. Wow, Appu. Now we can easily find out by looking at these parts that people like mango pickle the most because the largest part of the pie chart shows the number of people who like mango. And this smallest part shows the people who like pepper pickle. So, people who like pepper pickle are of the least number. And look Apu, similar number of people like amla and carrot pickle. That means those who like these pickles are same in number. That's right. We have to start selling mango pickle first. Let us eat something now. I'm very hungry too. Appu and Chanda now went to eat chapatis. Children, in this video we learned about the pie chart. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples.